Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for June 29th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Count Different Arrows by Bill Murphy. We have normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3x3 three three box. Additionally, we have some arrows in the grid. There are four of them. And these aren't our typical arrows with sums. Um, the digit in the circle is the number of distinct unique digits along the arrow. So there are three different digits on this arrow, exactly three. And all of these are three. So three distinct digits in each of these arrows. And those are the rules. And we'll get started um, by noticing that there are three distinct digits that have to go in these three cells because they're in the same column. So these are going to be our distinct digits as are these. So we can use that uh, to place some digits immediately. We know there must be a 2 in these three cells because we have a given 2. So there must also be a 2 in these three cells. Otherwise, we're going to have four distinct digits. Uh, and 2 can't go here or here, so it must go here. Here we have a 9. 9 can't go here or here. Uh, here we have 7, which must go here, and here we have 5, which must go here. Now, these two digits are going to have to be the same uh, because the third digit is going to be in this cell, shared by both. So if these are the same, what can they be? Could be 1, can't be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 9, or 8. There's an 8 down here. So these must be one. And I think we're going to be able to do that with all of them. Um, these can't be one, two, three, four, five. Could be six, can't be seven or nine. Oh, or six. There we go. So those are eight. Uh, these can't be one, two, three, four, five. This time can be six, but not seven, eight, or nine. So six in these. And then these can't be one, two, three. Could be four, can't be five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So these are four. And now we're basically done with the arrows. Uh, whatever this digit is, we're going to have three distinct digits. Um, we can probably figure out what these are, though. We're missing one, two, five in the column. We have one, two here. So this is five. Uh, 2, 8, 9 here. This must be 9. These are 1 and 2. And these are 6 and 7. And then to finish the central box, we get those digits. Of course, we could have placed the 3 immediately because we had four threes looking at the central box. So we're done with the variant. Now it's just classic. And here we need 7, 8, 9. They're going to have to go in that order because of the given digits. These are two, four, five. We have some options here. These are one, two, nine. Two's gotta go there. And up here we have five, six, seven. That's gotta be the six, five, seven. So all of those resolved except for this pair over here. Uh, let's look at this row. We need two and three. This row, we need three and eight. This column needs five, six, and eight. These two can't be five, so this must be the five. I don't know about the six, eight yet. Uh, this column is not going to be quite as useful because we still have four, five here. But these uh, need to include a nine, and we've got a nine there, so that's the nine. And then one, four, five. Neither of these can be five, so this must be our five. And then we get a one, four pair. One can't go in these cells. Five can't go in these cells. Eight. I don't see that resolved yet. Uh, these are three, six, seven, eight. Three and eight here. So this must be three, eight, like that. And six, seven, like that. Now these are 1 and 8, and these are 5 and 6. We know the order. That's going to resolve our 6, 8, and our 1, 8. 
These are one and two, four and three, uh, six and what are we missing? Four, so six here, four, four, one, one and nine. That's the solution. Uh, pretty straightforward puzzle, as long as you recognize what to do with the arrows when they're limited like this. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed that. If you've never seen this variant before, uh, hopefully that's a nice, gentle introduction. Um, let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.